In this video, we are going to look at how to graph the secant function. And secant is given by 1 over cosine. And on this unit circle, we are just going to use the four quadrantal angles. Those should be enough to show us how the graph looks like. So as you can see here for the cosine, remember it's going to be 1 over 1, which is 1. For 90 degrees, it's going to be 1 over 0. Remember the first quadrant coordinate represents cosine. The second one represents sine. So we have 1 over 0. The next one, so here we have the negative 1. So 1 over negative 1, we get negative 1. And then 1 over 0, we get undefined. So having those values, all I need to do now is to show the... I like to start with the asymptotes. It makes it easier to graph. So at 90 degrees, I'm going to draw an asymptote. The next one is at 270 degrees. And because I see the pattern, I can continue showing the asymptotes. That way I can show more of the graph. And now when I have some asymptotes, all I need to do is to show the points. And to show the points, I'm going to look at the, uh, I start at zero. So the secant of one of zero degrees is one. So it's going to be right there. The secant of 180 degrees is negative one. So right there. And because I see the pattern, so the next one is going to be up here. And this one is going to be down here. Then I just need to connect these ones. Make sure it's not touching the, as the asymptote. Okay, and that's how the graph is going to look like. And from here, I can see the amplitude is none. Just keeps going up. And... I also see the period is, so if I check from here, so to get the asymptote, if I check from here to here, I see the same thing, the same pattern repeating. So this is 2 pi. So the period is 2 pi. And that's how to graph the second function.